You used to call me sweetheart It was different when we first met Fastcar With your hand on my headrest Hello, um, today, today, today is the... Today is the 28th and it's 11.16 Um, and I am vlogging because I want to vlog I wanted this to be a reading vlog but I think it's gonna have to change a little bit Um, because uh, at like in the afternoon I'm gonna have to... Ooh, gonna have to take Luna to the vet because I think she hurt her paw. She's like walking fine and everything but she like had a pretty bad fall where she hit like her paw uh, and I'm afraid she might be hurt and she's like not showing it or something. Also updates. I have a package coming today because my earphones like my headphones broke and I kind of need them to do stuff. Um, especially like edit and stuff. I hate the how the headphones are now because one side is broken so the, the headphone from this side keeps like flailing around and I can't really hear it correctly. Also my wrist hurts a lot because yesterday I finally, I finally um, finished reading um, Pride and Prejudice which um, this book is like not that heavy but I was like hours and hours and hours on end like holding it with this end and reading it with the other I still need to complete like the um, like highlighting and putting in the tabs I don't know if you can see because it ended there um, and I already finished it so I have like more than 200 pages of tabs and like highlighting that I need to do so I need to finish that and here's Luna, can you see her? yeah I also drank coffee today, I don't know if you can tell but I drank this um, I need to put this in the trash, obviously. And yeah, also, I oh yeah, I forgot to say what I thought about this. Pride and Prejudice, it was alright. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I don't think it was anything, like, phenomenal, which is, like, an issue that I have. It's very, very rare for me to, like, watch a movie or watch a series or watch an anime or read something that makes me sit there and be like, oh, this is fantastic. So, um... I liked it, I enjoyed it. I would give it a solid like 8 out of 10. There's a lot of people in this book that I fucking hate with a passion. So, that's fun. Uh, I'm happy with how it ended as well. Even though I kind of wish that um, Mr. Wickham and Lydia were kind of like more shown in a like worse light. <laughs> uh, because like Lydia is fucking unbelievably annoying. Like at first I was like, oh maybe she should want to be wild and free. I wish someone told Lydia to shut the fuck up, that's all I could ever wish for because oh my god she was so annoying like I said when she first like ran away I was like oh maybe she wants, she's wild and free, she wants to have some fun uh, but then the way she like treated uh, the others I was like like in that family truly there was only like two people that I liked Elizabeth and like Elizabeth, I can't even speak and even then sometimes she pissed me off royally like a lot um, and Jane the, those were the two, only two that I was like, you know what, you're kind of okay. And maybe Kitty. And maybe Maria. Maybe. Uh, a mother, the mother was like absolutely... Like, I fuck her. I hate, I hate that woman. Uh, and then the daddy was like okay as well, I think. Besides that, Mr. Darcy, obviously, was real, really cute. Uh, so I'm very excited that I finally finished uh, Pride and Prejudice. Oh my god, my wrist. That I finally finished Pride and Prejudice. So that's done. And now I can finally start reading um, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, uh, which I have the book in Portuguese, so I feel like it's gonna be fairly simple to um, read. I don't think it's gonna take me that long to read that book, um, especially if I'm only focusing on the book. So I'd say maybe like two, three hours. So I'm definitely gonna finish today, whether that's gonna be in the afternoon or like at night after I come from the vet appointment with Luna. We'll see, we shall see. Um, besides that, I really, really want to journal today because I haven't journaled in a long time. And yeah, oh yeah, another thing is that I finally finished uni. Uh, my last ever, like, grade came out yesterday and I got a 16, like, out of 20. So I passed, like, 100% passed. I don't have any, like, subject that I need to finish because I finished them all in due time. Like, I got a passing grade for it every single one of them like every single year and now it's done after four fucking years like oh, i'm so happy like the happiness that i felt yesterday i was like i wasn't laughing at loud uh, this sounded weird but when i like watch stuff that's funny i don't usually like laugh laugh i just like hmm or like i think in my head that's funny but yesterday i was watching to do the to do episode where they were doing like the i don't know what it's called um i'll put it on screen that thing um when they were doing that, I was genuinely like laughing out loud, like I was in my mother's bed with Luna and I was just like, <laughs> genuinely like laughter um, and I was having fun, so Luna's right here by the way, she's coming um, so yesterday was a good day, I even posted 
that on Instagram. Hi again. So uh, it's now like midday. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's 12:18. I received the package. I bought this Sunday, and it should be my headphones, like I talked before. Uh, this is gonna be hard to open with one end. So here's the um, earphones that I bought. These are for my like for my computer and for my phone. Um, I bought three of these. Oh my god! Ow, ow. I bought three of these. Um, the three of these like connectors. That way I don't need to buy specific like earphones for my um, like phone. I can just use these. I bought three, like I said. Here are they. They were like 98 cents, so I was like, which I'm gonna take them. And I bought these like regular, regular like headphones. Here you can see the, the, the name. I think I had one of these like before, so it shouldn't be too weird. I'm gonna open these, see if they fit my phone and everything, and yeah. Met Fastcar with your hand on my headrest. Wow. Your voice was my favorite sound. Oh. She's a child. I think she's more of a shark than a cat, to be honest. What you said you would never do to me. Well, click, click, bang, bang. This sweet heart is so sweet. I'm back home. It's 5 30 pm. And what the fuck is this? Not excuse my acne because I had some recent like come up, so sorry about that. But some recent breakouts, but look at Luna. But what is this? Good work on bed 31st of like August. What's gonna happen? What was is this gonna be like a performance? Also, obviously, J Hope is having a comeback. I can't wait. Oh, come back. No, a debut. I can't wait. Is he technically a debut because he had like solo projects before? Right now, I'm gonna like highlight and put in the tabs for the parts that I missed for the rest of the book mostly um, and then I'm gonna start reading um, perhaps being a wallflower Luna is back home from the vet visit um, she has some like medication to take but besides that the vet said that everything's alright um, she's fine look at her she's a little like mad at me the moment because she doesn't like going in her carrier and she doesn't like you know the vet but you know she gets over it pretty fast she's so she says tired she wants to nap for baby it's like i said what 536 so see you guys in a bit broken heart and a skin tight black dress i can look good through the madness i don't play nice like i did before before you had me on a leash and you liked that these puppy dog eyes now I finished the thumbnail for Nyan's so yeah look at her look at her so I finished um putting the tabs on everything and highlighting some like parts some like quotes and funny stuff that I found so yeah this is the um thing that I did. I did four quotes, what the fuck moments, happy moments, like um, roasts because they do it a lot and then some like, um, there's very very rare moments of this but like I called it like old talk which is the way they like say certain things like uh, for you are a young lady of deep reflection I know and read great books and make extracts. It's just like um, very old like tiny ways of saying like completely normal stuff or this one this one's my favorite i profess myself one of those who consider intervals of recreation and amusement as desirable for everybody meaning he likes fun things i just i just thought oh, those are fun and then uh yeah this is what it looks like i really, really like it i didn't annotate as much i like started annotating a little bit more towards the end but not much because uh, also this book doesn't have much space so i wrote a little bit like at the end of chapters when there was a little space or sometimes like in these parts right here but it wasn't anything special so um that's finished so i'm happy about that uh, i use this like polaroid picture of luna as the she actually looks like, oh no right now she doesn't a little while ago she looked almost the same as this picture so 
I use that. Now I'm going to start reading this. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll read it quick because it's been bothering me that I have to, that I've had this book for like more than three years. I think I first bought this book on my first year of uni, and I just not finished it. So I feel like it'll be like a good circle, a good cycle to end. So I'm definitely gonna read this. Yeah, I'll see you guys when I like make some progress on the book. Okay, so it's uh, eight eighteen. Um, because I said I was gonna read the book, which I did. I read um, around not even 10 pages and I did some annotations in the book as well. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, the book is in Portuguese, so, but I did the annotations in English, but yeah. So I read around um, uh, nine pages exactly. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go walk a little bit because now that uni is over, um, I wanna do my like goal that I have before which is 10,000 steps a day currently I'm on 9,300 something uh, 303 so I only need 700 more steps to go I think I'm gonna like have dinner in maybe like five minutes so I'm gonna wait till dinner and then I'm actually gonna you know pay attention to this and read um, so that I can uh, finish this today. I put it in my head that I want to finish it today So I'm gonna finish it today. I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna finish it today um, Just cuz I want to finish it today Tomorrow I'm gonna start reading uh, a quart of um, Thorns and Roses which I've heard like mixed reviews of both and also this book doesn't have a lot of like space to do annotations with in um, but still like I don't care so my uh, goal for tomorrow is to read until chapter 10 um, and then if I'm like curious and I end up um, reading more then I read more but that's my next goal for like books that I want to read um, and then the next book that I have is um, The Midnight Library by my Matt Aik um, uh, Yenjun, Yenjun. <laughs> Namjoon um, read this book a lot of in 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 the soup um so um i kind of want to read it see what it's about like future books that i want to read i also i really really want to read um ace of spades i really want to read uh, one of us is lying it's like one of us is lying was the book that i want to read the most like generally i wanted that book so fucking bad um and then i have other um, books that continuously appear on my instagram because i like and like save a lot of um book posts so um I also have a couple of those. Uh, I really want to read the the fine print. I, I really really like this cover. I'll put I'll just put it on screen. Um, I also see a lot of Colleen Hoover like things, but I don't know if I wanna um, read. I don't know. Our stuff doesn't seem too interesting and interest me much. I also want to read the Atlas Six, um, the fine print that I talked about. Oh, the Seven Husband of Evelyn Hugo. I saw a lot of people talk about it. Um, Normal People by Sally Rooney. I also saw a lot of people talk about. Um, someone who will love you in all your damaged glory also seems very interesting. Um, How to kill your family as well. So, oh, and I really want to read uh, Kim Ji Young, Born, uh, 1982. I heard it's about like feminism and stuff like that, and I feel like I really, really need to be educated more on those things. So, um, I really want to read that as well. So, yeah, I have a lot of books that I want to read. So, hopefully, I'll really step up my game this. Um, year because last year I don't think I even read like one book last year isn't that isn't that fucking sad besides like school stuff that I had to read to understand like what we were talking about like but besides that isn't that fucking sad this year I already um, I already uh, read uh, three books which were the like the FNAF books um, and Pride and Brushless uh, and I'm gonna read this one and then I'll give my opinion about it even if I finish it's like 1am or 2am, I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna read it.
and I'm using Yao Ming. And I have um, reached almost, I'm on page 81. So I still have this to read. But I've been annotating it a lot. I like this book. So I'm gonna continue reading. Like I said, I'm gonna finish today. Today or tomorrow, depending on which hour I finish. So it's 2 a.m. And I finished it. I finished the book. I don't know if you can see, but I cried a lot. The book was something else, that's for sure. I definitely didn't know what the fuck it was supposed to be about. So when it happened, I was like. And there was definitely a little bit too many moments where I related. So that's not good. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know we didn't. It ended at like 2 a.m. I really wanted to finish this, like I said. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little weird, but it is what it is. And I'll see you guys next time. Just like to watch another one of my videos.